Bylocks at Wilson and Lawrence and Uptown are in great need of repairs. And we absolutely support the investment of our city's infrastructure. But dozens of people called the Bylocks home. And we need the city to acknowledge that they will be putting the residents through a lot of pain when this construction begins. The city's proposed design calls for a bike lane to go through the sidewalk rather than the street, which, it, which will exclude homeless people from the bylocks in the future. But putting the bike lane on the sidewalk actually means more dangerous for pedestrians, bikers, and other cars. Really? You're gonna, you're gonna put bikes on the sidewalks instead of the streets? Okay, let's go along with that. Go back to the measure. We also understand that the roads have less than 19,000 cars a day, only require one lane of traffic. Wilson at Lakeshore Drive has 8,700 cars a day at Lawrence Lakeshore Drive has 15,500 cars a day. Therefore, we have reasonable to believe that the Mayor Rahm Emanuel and Rebecca Scheinfeld are intentionally discriminating against homeless people with the redesign of the bylaw. We will not stand for this. Right. We, we, let's say it again. We will not stand for this. It's, it's, it's totally unacceptable. We are here today because we believe that the city of Chicago, through the Chicago Department of Transportation, is about to undertake a major reconstruction project with a discriminatory purpose. The city has released plans to redesign the Wilson and Lawrence Viaducts in a manner that accomplishes nothing except to exclude people who are homeless and are forced to take refuge there. We believe this plan violates the Illinois Bill of Rights for the Homeless Act, and we are prepared to take legal action against the city if it will not reconsider and do the right thing. As you just heard from Wilson resident Abdul Jones, the city's redesign places bike lanes on the sidewalk. This is not the best placement for bike lanes, and it's known to create conflict for cyclists, pedestrians, and car traffic when cyclists must cross from the sidewalk into the street. We see no other reason for placement of these bike lanes than to provide the city with a pretext for narrowing the sidewalk and permanently preventing homeless people from sleeping there. It is no secret that city officials in Chicago have long desired to evict these residents who want nothing more than a safe place to lay their head and store their belongings. And now they are using this construction as an excuse to kick people out for good. It is sad to me that we are here arguing about sidewalk space when we have people who deserve housing, dignity, jobs, respect. The homeless residents of the Uptown Viaducts have asked city officials from Rahm Emanuel's office Lisa Morrison Butler, the commissioner of DFSS, for help with housing in advance of construction, and the city has refused. The residents have asked for a meeting with Rebecca Scheinfeld of CDOT to discuss the redesign, and we have been told that the design is final. Consequently, we feel the city is leaving us no choice but to seek injunctive relief under state law. Give us the hope, or leave us alone. Give us the hope, or leave us alone. My name is Keith. I am homeless due to being abused in my own home. I was thrown out with nothing. No food, possessions, clothing, nothing. I am currently unable to find a reliable source of income after battling ongoing health issues. I have stayed in shelters, but first of all, they are full and have waiting lists. On top of that, I refuse to go there anymore because it's impossible to find a find and hold down a job because shelters have a curfew. I spend my nights in Tent City and Uptown because I cannot find a decent, safe place to live. So give us housing options or leave us alone. Thank you. Thank you. See not, discriminate not. See not, discriminate not. See not, discriminate not. See not, discriminate not.